Brain Gym, proud sponsors of UCMMA. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is sponsored by Shark Energy Drink, also sponsored by Iron Gym and OfficialWatches.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the main event of the evening? I said, are you ready? It's go time! Three rounds of fighting for the UC MMA Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall. He weighed in at 93 kilograms, fighting at a team headhunter. Make some noise for Nick the Headhunter! Chapman! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of nine wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall. He weighed in at 93 kilograms, fighting out of immortal MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is your current reigning, defending, ultimate challenge, light heavyweight champion. Make some noise for Linton, the Swan Bossa! And when the action begins, the referee in charge is Granite Grant Waterman. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my words of command at all times. If I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves, get ready for war. Before we get the main event started here, I'd just like to remind you all to follow us on on Twitter, excuse me, at UCMMA, and also on the website, www.ucmma.tv. But for now, it's Chapman, it's Vassal. This is going to be a train wreck, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, I think Chapman will want to come in, throwing big, big bombs. Vassal with a quick jab straight away. Well, Vassal's got great takedowns. He's fast, he's got good, good wrestling. Excellent hands as well, Vassal. Vassal with a nice careful. leg kick. Vassal looking to establish that range as well he might from this position. Chapman cries back. Good knee to the body from Chapman. Good knee from Vassal. Oh, another good knee inside. Oh, nice one as well. Vassal really accurate with those knees. Picking his shot beautifully. Slowing Chapman down by the looks of things. Vassell shakes Chapman off, Chapman smiles. Well, it's Vassell that wanted a break. Chapman coming forward, throwing He's those He's walking shots. through, isn't he? Chapman just walking forward, needs to be careful. You can't just walk onto it, because you know what happens, you get hit in the head, you're going down. Do not walk on the punches. Vassell covers and moves well. Chapman looking to advance, but looking slightly stiff with his punches. Chapman needs to keep his hands up. He smiles in the face of Vassell. Spinner back kick, no intention in it. Vassell doing the right thing, just flicking that jab out, giving his opponent something to think about, and a nice leg kick. Stalking his prey is Nick Chapman. Oh, big left hook there by Chapman, but retaliated with a knee by Vassell. That's right, that hook didn't seem to have much sting on it. Good knee from Chapman inside. Vassell Another good knee to the body, lands a few. Vassell really struggling here. Yeah, he got caught, he got winded. Body shot from Vassell. Needs to be careful he doesn't get sucked in. Oh, catches him nicely with the right he hand. He doesn't want to play this game. Big shot from Chapman. Vassell defending the takedown well. Chapman looking for the ankle pit. Vassell is defending well. Chapman trying to pull the leg out. He's not going to get it. He wants to be careful because Vassell can take his back from here. He'll be very careful of giving the back up here. That's a great spot. Vassell, if he can swim that leg over. Oh, nice. Vassell will look to turn and wrestles his way back up right. Great scramble from Vassell there as Chapman got the takedown. Vassell, another knee to the body. Chapman smiling. Nick needs to keep his hands up. Eats a jab in the right. 
Michelle chops to the body. Chapman's the one making the offense at the moment. He's the one coming forward, but he's not the more accurate striker, and the judges will be noting this. Chapman is breathing heavy. Is the big muscle man getting tired? Is that muscle taking the oxygen from him? The cell firing away that jab. But take nothing away from Chapman. He's still firing strong. One and a half minutes left. And that's a great call, Ian. I really think Chapman's hands very low in this position. His mouth wide open. Oh, oh. big left hand. The cell needs to be careful circling round. Does a good job. Reverses Chapman. Good knee to the body. Oh! Vassell pushes out. Chapman again trying to find a home for that big hook. Again that big hand. Big powerful shot. Chapman undoubtedly got the power in those hands, but the technique a little lacking at the moment, but that's not going to matter if he lands one of them. Definitely. Beautiful work. Vassell chopping away at that leg. Well, I'm surprised Vassell hasn't done a takedown. I thought he would have shot. I honestly thought he would have took Chapman down to the floor. Do you know what, Ian? I think Vassell's just comfortable. I don't think he's felt any danger. I think if he felt it, he was in danger. We'd have seen Chapman on his back by now. Well, you could be right, Rob, because Chapman is looking tired now. Well, let's not take anything away from Nick Chapman. He's still got power, tired or not. 20 oh, seconds that's a left nice in the first round. Breathing heavy is Nick Chapman. Dancing around the ring is Linton Vassell. And what I like from Vassell is sensing his opponent's tired. He's making him come forward. He's making him come to him by circling. Oh, and Chapman's caught him. I think that was a bit of a trip on his way round. But Vassell looks and for the, the end of the down. round. Very, very close round as we see the replay coming in. Both fighters looking to exchange in that outside range. Chapman's punches are not the tidiest, but he really has some thunder behind those strikes. That's right, huge power. The thing that Lyndon Vassell has is cardio. And I think when he comes out in this second round, he's going to show that cardio. Taking nothing away from Nick Chapman, mind, I mean, because I think he's won the first round. He's really taking it to the champion. You're right there, Ian, but from Vassell's point of view, He's going to have seen that his opponent's tired. It's up to him as a champion to capitalize. Chapman coming forward. Vassell sensing that, going for the double. Well, Chapman's got to be comfortable coming out into this second round. Linton Vassell may try something different. He might go for the takedown. He doesn't want to be hit again. Linton Vassell did okay. look like, Ready? with a little bit more time on the clock, he would have been able to make something happen. Be interesting to see how he starts this round out. Straight away, finds a home for that jab. And, a and, leg kick. and the leg rub, yeah. Oh, now he's going for the takedown. Nice defense there by Chapman, but he's got the lock up. He's got two legs locked up. It's going to be hard to defend. This is now not... Chapman is in trouble. This is where you do not want to be. Not with this man. He's got great ground control. Linton Vassell can make your life hell when you're on the mat. Some people say that Linton Vassell has got one of the best controlled ground games in UC MMA. And especially when a man like Nick Chapman is tired. Got double, in, double inside hooks. There's the mouth mouth guard going Chapman. Vassell firing away. Chapman's taking a lot of punches, but they're oh, in the oh, That's going to be it. And Chapman that is it. Now. That is it. Beautiful work. And here we see the replay of the second round. A nice leg kick to start the proceedings off and flicking that jab out. And it was the leg kick that Chamber went for that had ultimately turned to his undoing. So from there, Vassell was able to get the hands gripped and Chapman tries he might, wasn't getting out from that position. Some huge shots from Vassell landed. Well, Chapman's got his head down here. He doesn't want to be finished. He's taking punches, doesn't like the punches. He spits out the mouthpiece. Tries to put him back in, but then he just seems to lift his head up. Watch. Ah, lifting my head up, and there you go, take my neck. Mm. Not what you want to see, but a win for Linton Vassell. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Referee Grant Waterman calls a stop to this contest at 55 seconds. In the second round, declaring your winner by tap out.
do the rear naked choke, and still, ultimate challenge, light heavyweight champion, Linton the Swag! 